Hey guys, Ben from Making Strides here. I'm um, just going to give you a quick rundown as to why we use resistance training as a exercise modality. Um, so resistance training is a movement uh, that's performed against the load to improve uh, performance and better an individual's strength. So in doing this, when we're prescribing exercise, we use compelling evidence to justify the reasons behind it. And we consider things such as exercise order by targeting larger muscle groups um, and multi-joint muscles first, um, followed by then targeting assistant muscle groups. Uh, for some individuals that live with a spinal cord injury um, but ambulate outside of a wheelchair, we attempt to activate um, assistant muscle groups um, before then performing something along the lines of gait retraining. Um, another thing is exercise intensity, uh, also known as load. So this can be uh, absolute, where we quantify the load uh, with a number such as kilograms, um, or we can express it as relative load, where we use a percentage of an individual's one, rep one repetition max. Um, another thing that we target is exercise volume. So this includes things that you might have heard before, such as sets and reps. Um, and you can also quantify this in training volume by um, quantifying it in absolute or relative training volume. Um, we also look at an individual's goals. So training uh, for specific strength, uh, might be training for wheelchair rugby or wheelchair basketball. Um, so you also target muscle building, power, um, transferability as well, um, and muscular strength and endurance. So who should be performing resistance training? Everyone should be getting out and doing a little bit of resistance training each week. The Australian guidelines recommend two days a week at least of strength training is in combination with 150 to 300 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity uh, being performed each week. So we want everyone getting out there and performing some resistance training. It's not for just the meatheads that you see in the gym and you think them throwing around barbells. Um, it's for everyone and you're not gonna look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Dwayne The Rock Johnson after just one gym session um, or even just after a month of resistance training. Um, so we here at Making Strides focus on um, providing resistance training to people in order to enhance their physical capacity um, and their endurance to assist in activities of daily living. So this will mean that we incorporate and tailor an exercise program uh, for resistance training that will help an individual gain capacity to uh, put the washing on the line or take the washing off the line uh, help someone dry themselves after having a shower or put the shopping groceries away. Um, or an individual that ambulates with a um, walking aid, um, this might mean helping them have the stability to stay on their two feet. Uh, or if they are to have a fall, help them get off the ground. Um, so resistance training as a whole uh, will help build muscular strength and endurance. Uh, it helps build bone strength to reduce the risk of fractures uh, resistance training also creates an increased metabolic fitness um, to assist with those individuals living with a metabolic or cardiovascular condition. Um, additionally, individuals living with respiratory conditions, um, resistance training can help increase the lungs capacity um, to expand um, and take in more oxygen. For those individuals living with a spinal cord injury, uh, many secondary complications such as a respiratory conditions, loss of bone mineral density, metabolic and mental health impacts. Um, these are secondary complications that arise from having a spinal cord injury. Um, and it's super important to create a strong foundation with resistance training, uh, improving your muscular fitness and endurance um, in combination with other, other exercise modalities such as cardiovascular fitness and functional strength training, um, where we target trunk strength uh, for an individual to help them assist, adjust themselves in their chair, um, enhance their upper limb strength um, for some of those activities of daily living that I said before, or to increase their transferability, so increasing their transfer height, um, and furthermore, like enhancing bone strength um, and improving specific parts of one's gates, one's gait for those individuals that ambulate outside of a chair. Um, and endurance in that as well, like in gaining the confidence to walk without walk within the community without fear. So here at Making Strides, we want to get as many people as possible performing resistance training independently. 
uh, at Strides we've got multiple pieces of equipment that can uh, be utilised individually, uh, such as the new Her machines. Uh, if you want to check out Jim's previous video, he explained a lot of how uh, you can use those machines and the benefits of using those machines and getting into making strides um, even if you don't have a session. Um, at home there's so many ways that you can be performing resistance training. Um, you can go to any sporting goods store and get a TheraBand or dumbbells uh, or a medicine ball um, and do exercises. Follow us with our trainer tips um, from all the staff here at Making Strides that have targeted core strength to upper limb strength to endurance, um, transfer ability and seated balance work. Um, these are just a little bit of the stuff that we do at Making Strides. Also, finally, if you're keen to um, kick on with your 2020 goals, uh, we're doing more than just individual sessions here at Making Strides. We've got one-on-one -on -one sessions um, and we're starting up our group sessions again. They're going full steam ahead, so as, as soon as possible, um, give us a buzz here at Making Strides and get us working on your 2020 goals. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.